Giuseppe Pellizza da Volpedo, 1868-1907. The Mirror of Life, What the First One Doth, So Do the Rest, 1895-1898. Oil on Canvas, 132 centimeters by 291 centimeters. Horizontal format. Signed and dated on the bottom center of the canvas. The painting depicts the countryside around Volpedo, a town on the outskirts of Alessandria. In the middle of the canvas, a row of sheep walks along the banks of the river, all heading in the same direction toward the left. In the foreground are puddles alternating with grass set against the sky. The sole protagonists of the work, the sheep, are light-colored and lined up neatly except for a few of them. We only see the back half of the first sheep as if the animal were about to leave the canvas. Similarly, the last sheep on the right closing the row is painted as if it were entering the composition, with only the face and front legs. The scene is realistic, and the light is so bright it shines on the animal's backs. This effect is achieved thanks to the divisionist technique used for the painting. Pelizza applies the pure pigment with rapid taps creating a dense surface full of multicolored dabs that from a distance cannot be singled out individually but instead create an effect of movement and nuance. The clouds in the sky seem to mirror the animals with their rounded shape and the light reflecting on their upper part, similar to the one contouring the backs of the sheep. The sheep are moving along the edge of the small river, the Curone. The silhouettes are reflected in the water. The title of the painting references a canto from Dante's Purgatory. In fact, Belizza not only possessed skills and technique in painting, but had also studied at the Istituto di Studi Superiori in Florence literature and philosophy which he deemed necessary for his training and career. The painting seems surrounded by a frame in dark wood. Actually, it is part of the canvas, realistically painted by Pelizza, with veining and knots typical of wood, so as to appear as a real frame from a distance. In the central section, we find the writing Pelizza da Volpedo, and the date of the canvas, which took three years to paint. The frame is also painted following the undulating motion found in the entire composition, creating a total balance. There are many preliminary studies and sketches prior to 1895 that bear witness to just how long this work took to complete. Despite the absence of human presence, the painting reflects on the universal meaning of man's destiny and on the circle of life, as the title itself indicates. In fact, Dante's quote allows us to understand that the artist wished to paint something not only meant to be contemplated for its beauty, but that would also speak to the viewer's mind.